All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back here for the boys' introductions. Start the boys' game tonight. We'll let Joe Obergon do the introductions. Yes. I think we're ready for tip off. We're ready. I feel like we're out there on the court. I, I do too. I'm excited. It's, it's been a while since we've been out here. Yeah. Done a basketball game. Give me the ball, man. Still looks really quick. Yeah, they do. They've got some, got some height too. Yeah, most of it's sitting over there on the bench, though. Well, yeah, I was kind of surprised to that see that, really. There's about six, seven. Yeah, surprising. We don't have a roster, do we? No, we're going to get one, though. We're going to get one momentarily. Just hang with us. Looks like Stillwell's going to win the tip. Dylan's going to leave us. No, not ball's Dylan. On, ball's on the floor. Looks like we're going to have a foul here, maybe. That's going to be on McInerney, just first, with a push. There, Dylan's back. I was kind of getting nervous for a minute. Panicking, wasn't you? Yeah. Pass inside. Nice defense there by Hoover. Ducic comes up with the ball. Nice look inside by Ducic right there. He's going to have a foul inside on the Indians. It's going to be on number four. with the ball over to Ducic. Up top to Lockhart. Little 2-1-2 zone look here by the Indians. Lockhart, 4-3. Off the front iron, rebound inside by Eubanks. He's the only one I know. Yeah. Eubanks on the drive, jump stop, shot inside, it's off. Rebound by Branham. Nice rebound inside by Stephen Branham. Ducic all the way to the 10. Loses the handle. Ball's deflected. Indians come up with the ball. Three-pointer on the way. It's good. with the ball. He's covered by Eubanks. Pass inside to Branham. Branham to Hoover. Hoover's going to be fouled. Nice job by James Hoover going to the bucket. Draws the foul. He's going to go to the line to shoot two. Foul's going to be on number 43. Shot by Hoover on the way off the front iron.
Second shot by Hoover. It's good. Indians up 3-1 here early. Ball deflected. Loose ball. Looks like it's going to be McInerney on the push. His second foul. It could be Ducic. Looks like they're going to give it to Ducic. It's going to be Ducic's first foul. Loose ball, three-pointer on the way. Off, rebound backside by the Indians. Nice job by Ducic right there coming up with a steal. It's gonna be diamond ball. Looks like Ducic may have rolled his ankle right there. Lockhart with the ball. Over to Branham. Branham up top to Ducic. Loose ball here. They have a foul here on the Indians. It's going to be on the floor. It's going to be diamond ball out of bounds. It's going to be the third team foul on the Indians already. It's going to be on number one, Eubanks. Hoover on the drive, kicks it out to Ducey. Over to Lockhart in the corner, 4-3. Got it, Mitch Lockhart for three. Three-pointer on the way for Stillwell. It's off, they have a push here. Looks like it's gonna be on Hoover backside. It's gonna be on the floor, it's gonna be Indian basketball, out of bounds. We got a roster. Ball stolen away by McInerney. Up the floor to Ducic. Ducic, nice left hand right there. Good job by Blaine Ducic right there with the bucket. Ethan Hawkins, number five, the point guard for the Indians, with the ball. Thanks to my daughter for fetching us a roster. You're doing a good job. Yeah. We have to finally found something she's good for. We gotta pay her more money. <laughs> yeah. Anything would be more, wouldn't it? I guess. Branham comes up with the loose ball. Over to Hoover. Lockhart in the corner, 4-3, off the front iron. Rebounded by Eubanks. That's number one Pacer Eubanks. I like the name. I do too. Pacer. Pacer with the bucket. Hoover brings it down the floor. Top to Ducic, over to Hoover. Scoop shot by Hoover's off. Hawkins up the floor. He's covered by Ducic. Man-to-man -man defense for the Diamonds. Hawkins on the drive. He decides to back it back out. It's going to be a backcourt violation on Stillwell here. It's going to be Diamond's ball. I Ducic may have rolled his ankle there on a play earlier in the game. He's kind of got a limp there. Yeah, he does. Slowed him down just a little bit, it looks like. Over with the ball. 2-1-2 zone by the Indians. McInerney looks inside to Branham. Branham to Ducic. Ducic to Hoover. Hoover with, the Hoover with the shot. It's off. Nice hustle in there by Mitch Lockhart. We're going to have a walk here on McInerney. It's going to be Indian basketball. Thomas brings it up the floor. Long pass up ahead to number four, Heath Hawkins. Heath Holmes, excuse me. Shots off. Up the floor to Branham. 
Nice pass by Branham to Lockhart. Lockhart gets the easy two inside. Nice pass by the big guy. Eubanks on the drive, jump stop. Looks like it's going to be foul here. I don't know who it's going to be on. It's going to be a two shot foul though. Just send Eubanks to the line. Looks like it may be on. Looks like it's going to be on McInerney, his second. Team's fourth. First shot by Eubanks is in and out. 2.58 left here in the first quarter. Diamonds up 8 5. Second shot on the way for Eubanks. It's good. Random on the drive. Going to have a block here. You gotta he's, get a, he's just mowing them down down there. Yeah. Still got a little football season left in yeah, I think so. That's all right, though. Yeah, I, I kind of like that style of play. <laughs> Duchik for three in the corner. Off the front iron, rebounded backside by Lockhart. Lockhart shots off, rebounded inside by Branham. Branham battles inside and gets the bucket. Good job by Stephen Branham inside. I'd like to see him get, get started early. You know, if he gets in there and stays in there tonight, he's going he's gonna to score some buckets, some trash buckets. Yeah, in there. he will. Hawkins with the shot. It's off the rim. It's like number 10, Tyler Sutherland in the ball game for the Black Diamonds. He comes up with the rebound. It's like the ball's deflected off him, out of bounds. It's going to be still well ball. Ball's deflected and stolen by Ducic. Ball's going to be knocked out of bounds. Ducic's got to lead the conference in steals. Oh, he's unreal. He's, he's got quick hands. Over to Sutherland. Lockhart with the ball, top of the key. 2-1-2 zone here by the by the Indians. Number 20, Jacob Blunt, also in the game for the Diamonds now. Diamonds have been really patient on offense on this trip, Clint. That's good, though. I like that. Yeah. Just make them play defense a little bit longer. Good job on the drive there by Ducic. Finds Lockhart. Shots in and out. Good rebound by Ducic. Wild shots up and in. Nice shot by Blaine Ducic right there. Number 44, Shane Ford in the ball game. Three-pointer on the way for Thomas. It rims out on him. Rebounded by Lockhart. Lockhart up the floor. Over to Blunt. Back up top of Lockhart. Looks like they're going to set it up again. Blunt for three. In and out for Blunt. I was really hoping that went down, really. Yeah. Blunt's a great defensive player, but you really don't see him take too many shots. Just think if he can catch fire. Yeah. <laughs> Eubanks with a shot. Off the back rim. Rebounded by Ducic. Pass ahead, knocked out of bounds. It's gonna be, gonna be steel wheel basketball. All kinds of collisions down there. Yeah, Branham was involved too, so <laughs> you gotta watch out. Yeah. You really don't want to be involved in that collision. Inside, nice block there by Ducic. They're gonna get him with a foul, but good block inside on number 44. Is that Shane Ford? He's gonna go to the line to shoot a couple. Is that you? No. <laughs> a little 
little congestion. First shot by Fords, in and out. There's Shane Ford right there. That's him. Second shot on the way. It's good. Lockhart up the floor with the ball. Nice steal there by Thomas. Ahead to Eubanks, I mean Hawkins. Nice left-handed scoop shot by Hawkins right there. That's the end of the first quarter. Good first quarter of action here. Diamonds 12, Indians 9. Diamond ball. Sutherland to bring it in for the Diamonds. Looks like the Indians standing in this little defense here, this little 2-1-2 zone. Sutherland on the wing. Him and Hoover share the ball. Lockhart 4-3. Off the rim, it's going to be deflected out of bounds. It's going to be, it's going to stay with Salisaw. No, it's going to be off Sutherland. They say substitution for the for the Indians. Check number eleven, Aaron Cochran. Number twelve, Matt Victor. Ford with the shot. Nice shot by Ford. Pass to Branham inside. Diamond's doing a good job moving the ball. Indian staying in this 2-1-2 defense here. And have a foul here on Ford, loose ball foul. It's gonna send Hoover to the line to shoot one and one. My Hoover's good. What about the Mohawk? It's different. You like it? Yeah, it's, it's kind of cool. Second shot's good for Hoover. I really want you to, I'd like to see you do it. You, th you think that'd be good? I think you can. I, I think, think it's a diamond net logo. I think you can make it work. Shaved in there. It's going to have a reach here on Sutherland. Shot on the way for the Indians. Rebound backside. Good job by Blunt backside pulling that rebound down. Sutherland up the floor to Lockhart. Three pointer on the way for Hoover off the rim. Rebound on inside by number four, Heath Holmes. Hawkins with the ball. Actually, excuse me, that's Matt Victor with the ball. Eubanks on the drive. Shot by Eubanks. It's good. Good help there by Sutherland coming back and helping with the ball. It's a loose ball. Shot inside by Branham. Good job by Stephen Branham inside. I'd keep going to him if I was him. I would too. Just keep feeding it down in there. Spin, shot up, it's off. Rebounded by Branham inside. Good job by Stephen Branham in there. Pass inside to Branham. Kicks it back out to Sutherland. Three-pointer on the way for Lockhart. Got it. Well, you get him lit up on the from three-point range. It's going to be lights out. Diamond's up 19-13. Go, 
Victor for three. The lefties off the front iron. Ball's deflected out of bounds off Branham. Branham didn't like that call. <laughs> Looks like the big guys checking in for uh, yeah. to, uh, the big 6'6 six, six kid or whatever. It's Tyler Doyle. Doyle. The Doyle family show tonight out here. That Paul Polk's good ass. Three pointer on the way is good for the little guy, Aaron Cochran. The 5'3 sophomore. It's a quick hand. Did you see that? Yeah. Over to Hoover. Hoover at the top of the key. Back to McInerney. McInerney step back three point shot on the way. It's off. Rebounded. Cochran with the ball. Pass inside. Back out to Eubanks. Eubanks with a shot off the front iron. Good defense by the Diamonds. Nice pass up the floor. Back to Ducic. Ducic for three. Off the back rim. Rebounded by Eubanks. A lot of action here, Clint. Up and down the floor. Pretty fast paced. Victor with the drive. Victor's quick inside. Passing. Shots off by Roberts. Passing off Branham. Out of bounds. It'll be Steel Wheel basketball. the handles or thought he did. I don't know about that. Eubanks 4-3 off the back rim. Pretty good rebound inside by Roberts in the putback. Roberts looks like a football player. Yeah, he's a pretty good sized guy. Ducic with the ball. Indians committed to playing this zone tonight. Two forty left here in the first half. Diamonds up nineteen to eighteen. Pretty good little run Indians have put together here. Lockhart for three off the back rim, rebounded by Cochran. Roberts for three, off the back rim. It's a good job blocking out right there by McInerney. He had a good block out, out behind the three-point line right there. McInerney with the ball. McInerney on the drive. Out to Hoover. Hoover's off. Rebounded by Doyle. Cochran with the ball out top, over to Eubanks. Eubanks to Roberts. Roberts to Victor. Victor on the drive, it's off. McInerney comes up with a loose ball. Diamond spread the floor. Loose ball. Nice pass to the big guy. Gonna have a foul here, shot's off. It's gonna be a foul on number 33, Tyler Doyle. 6'5 senior. He's going to send Stephen Branham to the line. Shoot a couple. First shot by Branham is good. Gets a roll. There goes that friendly roll back. Like number five, Ethan Hawkins checking back in the game for the Indians.
I love that arch Brandon puts on those free throws. Pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. Timeout Southall, minute 13 left here in the first half. Diamonds 21, Indians 18. Hawkins up the floor. Hawkins on the drive, loose ball. Doyle comes up with it inside. Hook shot by Doyle. Nice and little in. hook. Pass to McInerney. McInerney out to Ducic. Diamond's going to be patient. Going to look for one shot here. Stillwell's going to stay in the 2-1-2 two, two zone. I really don't see him coming out and guarding here. No, I don't either. They're not going to. Maybe they are. Force anything there. Stillwell goes to a man-to-man. -man. Ducic with the ball. Over to Hoover. Over to Eubanks. Over to McInerney. Ducic on the drive. Nice shot nice. by Ducic right there. Shots off the backboard by Eubanks, and that takes us to halftime here from Paul Post Fieldhouse. Good first half of play for the Diamonds. Diamonds lead by three here at halftime, 23 to 20. We'll be right back after a few words from our sponsors. All right, welcome back, folks. To get ready for the second half here. Let's take a minute to recap the scoring for the girls game. Once again, it was the girls were victorious, 63 to 51. Sarah Snyder led the Black, Lady Black Diamonds with 18. Ashley Covington had 10. Caitlin Hall, 7. Lindsey Daggs had 8. Megan Smith scored 10. Candace McNamee with 4. And Ryzen Hoover had 2. So you know what that means, don't you? Um, no, I don't. I believe Sarah Snyder is going to be our diamond net player of the game. Sounds good to me. Excellent job by the referees tonight. They're calling it <laughs> calling a great game. Excellent game. They haven't missed one call all night. I'll tell you what, Snyder really stepped it up in the second half. Really stepped it up in the second half and kind of carried the Lady Diamonds, you know. Yes, she did. She did really, a good job. Really did a great job. Cochran was the leading scorer, by the way, for the Lady Indians with 15. Good night for her. Again, I'd like to thank the, the Winingers down there on South Washington. They hope they hope you guys are listening tonight. I want to send a shout out, shout out to you guys and good luck with that computer. You know, I think <laughs> I think everything's gonna be good though. You think I, so? Things gonna work out for them. I did a little doctoring on it. Oh no! <laughs> I know, I know. Fire department's not gonna be there anytime <laughs> soon, not, is it? It may not work tomorrow. <laughs> but you never know. I think it's going to be Steelwell basketball. You know, I think they're I think they're from Steelwell. If I, if I really, remember. I think so. I think they I think they live there. Really, I did not yeah. know that. Yeah, they have a son that's my age, and and uh, yeah, he went to school at Steelwell for a while. He was quite knowledgeable. He, he coaches at Broken Arrow actually. His name's Adam Alexander. That's cool. Yeah. Hawkins with the ball on the drive, jump stop shot, and he gets the roll. Stillwell opens up the scoring here in the second half. Pass off the backboard. Over to Hoover. Ducic on the drive. Out to McInerney. Back to Ducic. No look inside. Knocked away by Roberts. Nice hustle by McInerney. Nice job by Branham. You see Branham with a little jump stop. He Uses his, uses his body on that jump strap yeah. to kind of move him, move him away and get the yeah. shot off. Yeah, he can do it. He's a big, strong, physical player down inside. Man-to-man -man defense for the Diamonds. Like Hoover's on Thomas. Pass inside to Roberts. Left-handed shot by Roberts is off. Rebounded by Branham. Ball up the floor. Lockhart's off on the shot. Rebounded by Eubanks. Wild shot inside by number four, Heath Holmes. Lady, 
looks like the diamond's gonna slow it down. Clint, you tired? It's been, been a, a long day. It's been a lot of yawning and sleeping over there. <laughs> <laughs> as long as Mike don't go to sleep on us down there, we'll be all right. There, there's, this, there's a camera shot from Mike right there. That's yeah. pretty good. Nice backdoor cut there. Ball's out of bounds. It's gonna be off McInerney. It's gonna be still well ball. Good look though by Branham. You'll see Mike running a camera at the Super Bowl someday. I wouldn't get that excited oh, about it yet. Nice steal by Lockhart. Shots off. We're gonna have a foul here on McInerney over the back. <clears throat> it's gonna be uh, steal wheel ball. It's gonna be the third foul on McInerney. Pretty good defense there by the Diamonds. Steel wheel comes up with it. A little deflection. Shot inside off. Eubanks with the rebound inside. He's going to be fouled. Looks like it's going to be on. It's going to be on Hoover. It's going to send Eubanks to the line to shoot two. Number one pacer Eubanks. I want to see uh, Cochran come back in the game. I like. I like him. First shot by Eubanks is it? He's good. He's only five three. Man, it's like Muggsy Bogues. That's all. Yeah, you're right, Cochran. Yeah, he's a speedy little guy. Yeah, he is. I like watching him. Why are you mocking me? <laughs> oh, it's mouth. Sorry, sorry. It's been a long day, man. It has. Pass inside to Branham. Pretty good ball movement there, but the ball was deflected. I knocked out of bounds. Looks like it's going to be a Salisaw ball. Really not a lot of fans out here tonight, Clint. Really? Kind of an empty house. Student section's really quiet. Yeah, it has. It got kind of rowdy there for a while, but it's pretty quiet anymore. I haven't even seen the pink rubber boots lately. No, I don't see. That's Colton. I don't see him here tonight. Roberts with the miss. Rebounded by McInerney. Ducic. Ducic looks inside. Back out to Hoover. Hoover on the drive. McInerney 4-3. Off the front iron. Going to have a push here. I believe that's going to be the third foul on Eubanks. I believe you're right. I'd like to see see him pick up another one here real quick. Gonna have another foul here. I that may well have been it. I think that's it. Man, you're pretty that's good. That's what we needed right there. You're pretty good, man. Yeah. How do you call stuff like that? That's, we, we needed to get him on the bench. Yeah. He's a big part of their offense. Pass inside to Ducci. Ball stolen away by Thomas. Ball stolen away by Hoover. Hoover on the drive. Pass is going to be off Branham, out of bounds. Looks like Sonister's up to He's going to get a timeout. So, 424 left here, third quarter. Timeout, Salisaw. Diamonds 25, Indians 24. trying to break the full court press by the Diamonds. Shot there by Roberts. Off. Looks like Duel's back in the game for the Indians. Well, you're making me tired, man. I'll be napping out over here. I <laughs> can't be doing that. <laughs> yeah, they got the big guy er in the game early in the second half here. Looks like number 12, Matt Victor, also in the game for the Indians. Pretty good job there by Victor to knock it off Ducci. Out of bounds. It's going to be Indian basketball.
pass to Hawkins. Scoop shot by Hawkins is off. They have a foul here. Not to be confused with Tom Hawkins, dominant. <laughs> dominant customer. First shot by Hawkins is good. Second shot's good. Lockhart up the floor. We're going to have a foul here on number 44, Shane Ford. On the block. 346 left here in the third quarter. Diamonds down one. 26 to 25. Lockhart really thought about that three right there. He wanted it. Hoover on the baseline. Pass inside to Branham. Back out to Hoover. Pass inside to Sutherland. Ball's deflected by Doyle. Man-to-man defense for the Diamonds. Good defense by Sutherland. Gonna have a push on Sutherland. A little bit over-aggressive there. But good defense. Sutherland's a good defensive player. Yeah, he and Blunt both are. They come off the bench. They come in to play defense. That's right. Ball deflected out of bounds. It's gonna be off Lockhart. Actually, it's gonna be off uh, Roberts. Go. Good job by Lockhart. Yeah. Good job by the officials getting that all sorted out. The officials doing an excellent job tonight, Clint. Should have had a going to have a foul there. It's going to be on Vic Victor. It's going to be a push. It's going to be diamond ball out of bounds. It's going to be over here on the side. Ball about got away from the ref there. I think it. Hit him in the head, hit him in the face. He might have been eating some Charlie's chicken at halftime, got some greasy fingers. Just like mom, you know. <laughs> it is. Over to McInerney on the wing. Man to man defense. Actually, it's just, they're still in a 2 1 2 zone. It's more of a matchup zone now. Ball deflected. Ford comes up with it. Over to Hawkins. Nice defense there by McInerney. Ball's going to be out of bounds off Hawkins. It's going to be diamond ball. So Great good, hustle good, there by McInerney. Good defense by McInerney yeah. right there. They have a walk here on Sutherland. Couldn't get that pivot. He didn't get that, that foot planted, could he? No. Kind of indecisive there what he wanted to do. Hawkins will bring it up the floor for the Indians. Shot for Hawkins is good and the foul. Number five, Ethan Hawkins is going to go to the line to shoot one. Like Duchik's going to check into the ball game for Lockhart. Looks like that foul was on Blunt, his first. Hawkins with the ball. Man to man defense for the Diamonds. Victor for three, off the back iron. 
Rebound inside by Branham. Nice job by McInerney. You're going to hit a backcourt violation, but a good job there. You know, I think we've said it before, Clint, but I, I'd really like seeing McInerney and Hoover and Duchik in the defensive backfield for the Black Diamond football I, team. Really. I agree. Well, they're both, they're all fast and just, just athletic. Caught on the way, off the front iron. Ford with the fake. Ball's blocked there by Branham. Go. Good block in there by Branham. Hoover's going to bring it up. Need to come up with some points this time down the floor. Yeah, we've had a dry spell here. Yeah. Nuchik on the drive. Scoop shots, no good. Doyle with the rebound. Hawkins up the floor. Hawkins spots up, shoots, shots short. They have a loose ball foul here. Looks like it's going to be on 43. Is that Roberts? Yeah, it's going to be Tyler Roberts. 6'2", yeah. junior with the foul. It's going to be diamond ball. 47.1 left here in the third quarter. Diamonds 25. Indians 28. Diamonds, I, mean, I don't know how many how many they scored this quarter. Two? Two, yeah. And that was just right there at the beginning of the quarter. Blunt's going to walk. Another turnover by the Diamonds. So defensively, Stilwell's really stepped up here in the third quarter and just kind of taken over the game with their defense. Yeah. Stilwell's well, outscored us 8-2 to two so far this third quarter. Shot by Doyle inside's good. Loose ball. Looks like Duchik's good hustle there by Blunt right there. Good hustle. Looks like Duchik's hurting. He's got a looks like he's got a knee or an ankle. Hurting a little bit after that fall on the floor. After that wild position there, it's gonna be Diamond basketball. 17.6 left here in the third quarter. Yeah, it looks like he may have rolled his ankle early in the game. I didn't see that one there. I didn't see exactly what happened there. Pass is stolen away by the big guy, Doyle. He's showing his handling skills. Up the floor to Hawkins. Hawkins with the shot. It's off. Duchik with the ball. Pass over to Hoover in the corner. To McInerney, 4-3, at the buzzer, off the front iron. That's going to be the end of the third quarter. So as we go to the fourth quarter, Diamonds trail by five, 25-30. You're back, can you? I'm back now you're back. It. Yeah. He's on McCourty. No, you're not. Did you have a nice chat with the referee? Yeah, he's a friendly fella. <laughs> you know, as long as I've known him for like 10 seconds, he's, yeah. I already know where he's from. He's from Gore. He must like that place. We won't hold that against him, though, will we? Shot by Hoover. He's going to be fouled. Doyle on the foul. Going to send Hoover to the line. It'll be the third foul on the big guy. Not the big guy. The big guy. First shot by Hoover is good. I'd like to send a shout out to my wife. And my son at home tonight. Hope they're listening to the game. Well, actually, I hope Brody's asleep right now, but yeah, he should be. Yeah, we hope so. Second shot by Hoover is good. Nice job by Brandon. There's those tight end skills, Clint. I guarantee you. There's his quarterback skills, getting the ball down the floor. Hoover tried to save it. Hawkins comes up with it. Hawkins on the run out. Kicks it out to Victor. Victor for three. The lefty's got it. Three-pointer for Victor. Diamond's getting a little out of control, Clint. They have a yeah, charge see, there on you Ducic. Go. It's going to be still a ball. It's going to be Ducic's fourth foul. Yeah, fourth foul on Ducic.
pass over to Victor. Man-to-man -man defense for the Diamonds. Victor for three. Rebound by Ducic. Ducic up the floor. Over to Lockhart. Back to McInerney. Lockhart, 4-3. Off the front eye. Rebounded by Doyle. We're going to have a timeout still well. 6.16 left here, fourth quarter. Diamonds 27, Indians 33. It's going to be still well ball. Ford brings it into Hawkins. have a walk there it looks like turn over there by number four Heath Holmes it's gonna be diamond ball pass inside to Branham nice hesitation move by Branham but it's off Hawkins up the floor. Three second violation looks like going to be on Doyle. Good call by the referees right there. Well, we really need to, need to step it up and score some points. We've been outscored 13 to 4 so far in the second half. Points have been hard to come by. It really don't seem like we've got a lot of shots either. No, been a lot of turnovers it seems like. That's inside the Brandon, out to Hoover. Some kind of sloppy play. Ducic for three, off the back iron, rebounded back side by Roberts. Thomas is stripped by Lockhart. Foul there, Lockhart got it and, and won. Good shot by Lockhart. Needed that. Certainly did. Maybe just the spark that we needed. Foul's going to be on number 15, Tyler Thomas. <laughs> it's going to be his second foul, Clint. Shot by Lockhart's up and in. Good defense by the Diamonds. Almost. He's going to be yeah, on the line. going to be turnover by the Indians. It's going to be Diamond Ball. There we 504 left here in the ball game. Diamonds down three. There we go. We can get right back in it now. I'd like to see one of these diamonds guard hit him a three right here and tie it up. I would too. Shots blocked by Doyle. Eubanks on the drive. Eubanks with the bucket inside. Hoover with the drive. Shot is up. Rims out on him. You know, Clint, I'd like to send a shout out to Aubrey Bailey. It's her birthday today, 13th really? birthday, yeah. All right. Aubrey, if you're listening, happy, happy birthday. Bir happy yeah. birthday from all of us here at Diamond Net. I really think you should sing her. We hope you're happy keep, birthday. We hope you're keeping your dad in line. And that actual happy birthday wish was from your dad. Hope you're keeping him in line, though. I know that's a job, but we try, but, you know, you can, you can only do so much. Looks like Hoover went down yeah, hard there, Clint. He may be injured. He's fiery, though. He's back up. Yeah, it won't keep him down long. Good job by Hoover right there. It's going to be diamond ball. Could be a one-on-one -on -one situation here. Hoover knew about it. He went to the line. Yeah, he's there. Ducic didn't. 
<laughs> he's still waiting. He's still waiting to inbound the ball. Looks like that's going to be the fifth foul on number one, Pacer Eubanks. So, looks like Stillwell's leading scorer, one of the leading scorers, is finished with nine points on the night. I believe he is their leading scorer. He's pretty good at creating his own shot. He's done a good job tonight. Yeah, he he's a big part of their offense. You know, he he drives and dishes the ball off. Creates a lot of things for a lot of other for the you know for a lot of the other players. Fans are excited tonight. <laughs> you can call it that. Over at the line. He'll shoot a one and one. First shot's off. Rebounded by Doyle. Shot's up off the rim. Rebounded by Hoover. Over to Ducic. Good hustle by Hoover. McInerney with the drive. Shot's off. Rebounded by Roberts. Hawkins at the Ford. Nice deflection there by Ducci. Nice hands there by Hawkins. Knock it away. Over to Thomas. They have a timeout on the floor. Timeout, Indians. 2.58 left here in the fourth quarter. Diamonds 30, Indians 35. It is just like mom's, you know. <laughs> Who's mom? Well, I don't remember my mom's being, chicken being quite that good, really. <laughs> Shot on the way for Hawkins. It's off. Rebounded by the big guy inside. Doyle shots up and in. Soft touch. Soft touch by the big guy inside. He's excited. I mean, he's jumping around and hollering. He's really excited about that. He's an excitable yeah. guy. Diamonds need to do something here, Clint. We're down seven with 2.44 left. The shots just really haven't been falling for us, either. What have we scored? Seven points this half? Five. Or, yeah, you're right. Yeah, five so far this quarter. Seven for the half. Looks like we're going to have a foul here. It's going to send the diamonds to the line. We've got basketballs flying around everywhere back here. Did you, did you dodge that ball? There was one coming at you. You didn't see? I didn't know I didn't see That's it. That's how fast I was. Pretty quick. Do what you get the line. First one's good. First point of the half for Ducci. Second shot on the way for Blaine. And it's off the back iron. Rebounded by Roberts. Hawkins with the ball. Thomas over to Roberts. Back to Hawkins. Man-to-man -man defense for the Diamonds. Got a little trap here in the corner. Ball's going to be deflected out of bounds. Drive by Hawkins. Shots up and in. Good job by the point guard. He's had a good second half tonight. Pass to Ducey, got to Branham. Diamonds really need some offense here, Clint. McInerney 4-3, off the front iron, rebounded by Lockhart, shots off. Doyle comes down with the rebound. Yeah, down to a minute and a half. with the ball. He's covered by gonna have a foul here on McInerney. Diamond's gotta go gotta start fouling now. 112 left here in the fourth quarter. Yeah down by eight. That's gonna send number five Ethan Hawkins to the line. 
had a good second half for the Indians tonight. He has. He scored eight. That's what you want out of your point guard, though, to step up in the second half. That's right. We haven't even seen the little guy in the second half, Cochran. No. First shot's good for Hawkins. Diamond's down nine, a minute and 12 left. Second shot is off. Rebounded by Branham. Diamond's up the fourth quickly. Gonna have a foul here on Doyle. That's gonna be good. That's gonna stop the clock. It's gonna send McInerney to the line to shoot a one and one. Actually, you know, Clint, yeah. Is that gonna be the 10th team foul? Or is that the ninth? Looks like it's so that's, the yeah, 10th that's team foul. Temple. McInerney's gonna shoot two. That looks like the fourth foul on that is. Doyle. First shot for McInerney is good. Second shot on the way for McInerney. He gets it. Timeout on the floor. Minute and seven left here in the in the ball game. Diamonds 33, Indians 40. You better give him a holler, Clint. Get you some uh, get your sessions scheduled. <laughs> Loose ball here. Thomas comes up with it. Dutcher's really not wanting to foul there because that would be his, his fifth one. I really didn't want to see him foul Hawkins early. No. I wanted to see him foul, foul Doyle over there in the corner. It looked like Branham tried, but they didn't call it. Yeah. I, we haven't seen him yet from the line, have we? Mm. Um, I'm not sure. I thought he went to the line one time, but I'm not sure. shot by Hawkins. He doesn't get it. Maybe he's the right guy to foul after all. Pretty good call, I guess. Lockhart up the floor over to Ducic. 4-3. Good shot for Ducic. Timeout Diamonds. 46.6 left here in the ball game. Diamonds 36, Indians 40. Pretty good pressure by the Diamonds. Get the ball up to Hawkins. I think they're going to get to Roberts. Roberts is going to be fouled. That's going to send number 43, Tyler Roberts, to the line. So we'll see if Roberts can hit the free throws. 39.8 left here in the ballgame. It's off. First shot's That's off. That's good. It's going to be the third foul on Hoover. Tenth team foul on the Diamonds. Second shot by Roberts is no good. Rebound by McInerney. Yeah, nice rebound by McInerney. Even a foul situation here would be good. Over to Ducic in the corner, 4-3. Got it, three-pointer, Blaine Ducic, timeout Diamonds. 31.3 left here in the ball game. Diamonds 39, Indians 40. All right, still will basketball here. 31.3 left. Diamonds fighting back in the ball game. Down by one here. Blaine Ducic went off here in the last minute. Hawkins with the ball. Up the floor. Looks like he's going to dribble the air out of the ball. Yeah, they're going to have to just put him on the line. Up to Thomas. Yeah, he's the one they want to foul. Roberts right there. They got Roberts. 14.3 left. Yeah, he's certainly the one they want to put on the line. Hawkins did a great job there handling the basketball. Yeah. So Roberts is going to go to the line to see if he can hit a free throw. <laughs> yeah, that was a good job by Hawkins, though, just keeping that ball alive because he knew they didn't want to foul him. Yeah. First shot's good for Roberts. Stepped up and hit that one. Still a one-possession game. Even if he hits this, it's still a one-possession game here. I expect if he hits this, he'll we'll probably call a timeout and set up a defense, but you never know. Shot's off. Rebounded by Branham. A foul puts us on the line here. Scoop shot by Hoover. It's off. We're going to have a foul here. Looks like it's going to be on Ducic. 
and it's going to send Doyle to the line with 6.1 remaining. Diamond still down two. Hoover went inside on the drive, looked for the foul, didn't get the call. It's going to foul Duchik out. Timeout on the floor, 6.1 left here in the ballgame. Diamonds 39, Indians 41. What about, the, what about the guy cheerleader there for Stillwell? I saw that. That was impressive, wasn't it? Well, I really didn't get to see what he did, but I, I had seen him earlier. He was doing flips and jumps. And all Looks like he may have injured himself. No. No, he's a... Uh, he's, he's limber, that was, isn't that he? That was pretty nice. That was pretty good, man. Really, I'm kind of occupied. I didn't get to see it. Yeah, I know. First shot by Doyle is good. So this is the shot here for Doyle. Yeah. This one will do it. Shot on the way for Doyle. It's good. That pretty much does it for the Diamonds. Lockhart with the ball up the floor quickly. Three-pointer on the way for Lockhart. It's off. Rebounded by the Indians, and that'll do it. So good, good fight late in the game by the Diamonds. We've come up a little bit short here. Final score here from Paul Post Fieldhouse. Salisaw Black Diamonds, 39. Stillwell Indians 43. We'll be right back after a few words from our sponsors. <laughs> 